Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The idea behind today's video is that during lockdown I started gardening and now this has become my new pastime which I'm seriously loving it. Over the past few months I have been learning gardening techniques. I thought of sharing the same with you guys. So this video is mainly for beginners who have no knowledge of gardening and don't know where and what to start with. I hope this helps you. All the seeds I have used for this video are right from the kitchen. So without any further blabber, let's start the video. First collect containers which you have at home like food containers, paint containers or any rectangular boxes whatever you have at home in different shapes and sizes. One golden thumb rule you need to remember is that whatever container you take make sure you punch holes at the bottom of the container for water drainage. If you forget this step then plants may die due to lack of aeration. So now let's move on to the seeds. Here we have methi, fenugreek seeds, dhania, coriander seeds, mustard seeds, capsicum and also dry red chilli seeds. Next we need to fill the container with soil. Here I am using soil which has equal portions of compost, coco peat and soil. You can just use soil instead of using coco peat and compost. Let's start with methi first. Add the seeds to the container. Try to add the seeds little closer to each other but not too crowded because while the seeds start germinating, each seed will support the other so that we can get a bushy methi after few days. Cover up the seeds with soil just about half inch and now sprinkle the water. Make sure the soil is always moist but not too wet. It takes about 2-3 to three days for methi seeds to germinate and they are very easy to grow. After 10 days will get completely grown methi. This is my first harvest of methi which I have done in the month of June. Next we have mustard seeds that are super easy to grow. They start germinating just within 2 days. Add seeds close to each other and cover up with soil. These mustard seeds grow fastly so after few days as they grow tall you can shift them to larger containers and they also start flowering. The main reason to have mustard plant in home garden is that they attract bees which helps in pollination for the fruiting plants. Within 10 days we can see fully grown mustard plants so now you can also shift them to larger containers so they uh, further they start flowering. Next we have dhania seeds. The germination time for dhania is little longer when compared to methi. The coriander seeds which we use in our kitchen are fully dry seeds so germinating capacity is very low. So to avoid that, uh, first take the seeds and split each seed into two. By applying little pressure on the seed it breaks into two halves. Then soak these seeds in water overnight. And the next day morning add these wet seeds to the container and cover up with soil and add water.
After one week the seeds start germinating. After about 10 to 12 days the actual coriander true leaves will start coming. This is how they look like after 12 days. Now it's almost 20 days. This is how it looks like the coriander leaves uh, started growing completely. Next uh, we have the easiest vegetable plant to grow is tomato. Follow the same drill, fill the pot with soil. If so, please like and share this video with your friends and family members and also do share your craft and gardening pictures on my Instagram handle so that I can share on my stories too. Till then take care, see you in my next video.